solve this three by three system with matrices. The first matrix will just consist of the coefficients of each of these. We'll have one, negative two, one, and seven. Negative two, negative one, negative one, negative seven, four, five, negative two, and three. Keep in mind that we want ones across the diagonal and zeros over here. So we'll work down the first column to start this. We already have one in the first position, so the next thing we need to work on is getting zero here in this second position, first column, second row. In order to do that, we can multiply each of the parts of the first row by two and add that with negative two, negative one, negative one, and negative seven in the second row. Our first row will stay the same, one, negative two, one, and seven. Our third row will stay the same, four, five, negative two, and three, but our second row will change. Again, multiplying each part of the first row by two and adding it with this second row. One times two is two, two plus negative two is zero, which we need in that spot. Negative two times two is negative four, negative four and negative one is negative five. One times two is two, two plus negative one is one. Seven times two is 14, and 14 with a negative seven is a positive seven. Next, we need to get this number here to become zero as well. In order to do that, we'll multiply the first row by negative four and add it to this third row. Our first and second rows will stay the same. One, negative two, one, and seven. Zero, negative five, one, and seven. And now we'll multiply each part of this first row by negative four and add it to this third row. One times negative four is negative four plus four is zero, which we need there. Negative two times negative four is positive eight. Eight plus five is 13. One times negative four is negative four, negative four and negative two is negative six. Seven times negative four is negative 28 and negative 28 with three is negative 25. Next, we need to work in this second column. What we need here in the second row is a positive one. So we need to multiply each part of this second row by negative one-fifth. Multiplying all the way through there by negative one-fifth does not change the first or the third rows. So let's write those down. Then we'll multiply this second row by negative one-fifth. Zero will stay the same in the first column. Negative one-fifth times negative five is positive one. Negative one-fifth times one is negative one-fifth. And seven times negative one-fifth is negative seven-fifths. Next, what we need in this second column is a zero in this spot in the third row in the second column. That means we'll multiply each part of this second row by negative 13 and add it to this third row. The first row stays the same. The second row will stay the same. But now we'll multiply each part of this second row by negative 13 and add it to this third row here. Multiply zero times negative 13, that doesn't change it, so we're going to stay with a zero in the first part of the third row. Then one times negative 13 is negative 13 plus 13, that gives us zero, which we need there. Negative 13 times negative one-fifth is positive 13 fifths. We're going to add 13 fifths with negative six. Well, let's change negative six so that it is negative 30 fifths. Negative 30 fifths plus 13 fifths will give us negative 17 fifths. 
then we'll multiply negative 7 fifths by negative 13. Negative 7 fifths and negative 13 is positive 91 fifths. Positive 91 fifths we need to add with negative 25 fifths. Now we need to multiply negative 7 fifths times negative 13 and add it with negative 25. Negative 7 fifths times negative 13 is positive 91 fifths. Adding it to negative 25, we need a common denominator. That would be negative 125 divided by 5 combined with positive 91 fifths, and that gives us a value of negative 34 fifths. One more step here, and that's to make this value a positive 1. In order to do that, we can multiply the third row by negative 5 seventeenths. The first row and the second row stay the same. 1, negative 2, 1, 7, 0, 1, negative 1 fifth, negative 7 fifths. Multiplying each part of this third row by negative 5 seventeenths gives us still 0 and 0. Negative 17 fifths times negative 5 seventeenths is positive 1. And negative 5 seventeenths times negative 34 fifths is positive 2. And we're ready to set up the three equations. The first equation is x minus 2y plus z equals 7. That's from the first row. The second row is y minus 1 fifth z equals negative 7 fifths. And the last row is the value of z, which is equal to 2. Next, we can substitute z equals 2 in place of this second equation, y minus 1 fifth z equals negative 7 fifths. That will give us y minus 1 fifth times 2 equals negative 7 fifths. 1 fifth times 2 is negative 2 fifths. It's equal to negative 7 fifths. Adding 2 fifths to both sides gives us negative 5 fifths, which means y is negative 1. Then last, we're going to replace the y in this first equation with negative 1 and z with 2. So x minus 2 times negative 1 plus 2 equals 7. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. x plus 2 plus 2 equals 7. x plus 4 equals 7. x equals 3. That gives us this solution. 3, negative 1, 2.